As we have mentioned already, it certainly is not lost on us. The history that was made earlier today when Kamala Debbie Harris took the oath of office and became the country's first woman to serve as vice president. Ladies and gentlemen, the vice president-elect of the United States, Kamala Debbie Harris. Kamala Harris is known for many firsts, most recently adding to that list the first time in American history a woman will be first in line to the presidency. That I will well and faithfully discharge. The duties of the office on which I am about to enter. The duties of the office upon which I am about to enter. So help me God. So help me God. Oh, Lord. Madam Vice President Kamala Harris. While I may be the first woman in this office, I will not be the last. Now is when the real work begins. The hard work, the necessary work, the good work. She is also the first black vice president and first of Indian descent. I will tell you this, I am not perfect. Lord knows I am not perfect. But I will always speak with decency and moral clarity and treat all people with dignity and respect. The 56-year-old is a wife and stepmother who goes by Mamala. I've had a lot of titles over my career, and certainly vice president will be great. But Mamala will always be the one that means the most. She's the daughter of immigrants, a Jamaican father and Indian mother who was instrumental in her childhood in the California Bay Area. Our mother was fierce in her belief that you will be judged based on your actions, not your words. Harris is no stranger to breaking barriers. Congratulations. She was the first female district attorney in San Francisco, the first female and first black attorney general of the state of California and only the second black female to become a U.S. Senator. I intend to fight. I intend to fight for Black Lives Matters. I intend to fight for truth and transparency and trust. One of her first forays into national fame resulted from her tough questions in the Senate. Can you think of any laws that give government the power to make decisions about uh, the male body? I'm happy to answer a uh, more specific question. Male versus female and her fiery performances on the debate stage. America does not want to witness a food fight. They want to know how we're going to put food on their table. Yes. In the final days of the election, the president-elect deployed her to the decisive cities of Atlanta and Philadelphia. We did it. We did it, Joe. Lindsey Davis, what a moment that will be when Kamala Harris takes the oath. I'm especially thinking about uh, the little girls of, of all colors, but in particular black and brown girls, because there's so much power, George, in seeing someone who looks like you. And to the children of our country, regardless of your gender, our country has sent you a clear message. Dream with ambition, lead with conviction, and see yourselves in a way that others may not, simply because they've never seen it before. But know that we will applaud you every step of the way. Harris has said that her mother taught her to dream and to do. And as the next Vice President of the United States, she's excelling at both, inspiring the next generation of girls along the way. We, the successors of a country and a time where a skinny black girl descended from slaves and raised by a single mother can dream of becoming president only to find herself reciting for one. Go, come, go, come, go, come. She's going to be the very first woman vice president, so like the boss of all the so much power in seeing someone who looks like you and before
Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.